In this video, I will show you how to create a Bento grid layout like this, but instead of using grid, we will be using Flexbox, and I will walk you through every line of code, and I'll show you how easy it is to create such a layout like this. So, let's get into it. In my project folder, I have this HTML file with the boilerplate inside. I just change the title to Bento grid and link the CSS file. And inside the CSS file, I reset the margin and padding and open this on the browser using Live Server. Now, before we start, let's take a look at this finished version and break it down to make it easier to understand. So, if you take a closer look and think of this as one big box, it is actually made of two columns. So, we have this one big column on the left and this little one on the right and they are not equally spaced the column on the left is taking much more space than the one on the right and looking inside of this left column we actually have three boxes stack on top of each other and we can actually call them rows so we have one row the second row and this is a row as well but it is made of two boxes inside one row and the column on the right just has two equally spaced boxes. Now that we break it down, it is much more easier to understand what we are going to create. First, we will need a container. So let's create a div with the class name container. And before we get into this container, let's quickly style the body, set the stark background and center the container. I will select the body and set the minimum height to 100 VH, set the background color to this dark color, and I will center the container using Flexbox. Let's select the container and set its background color to white. Let's set the width to 1000 pixels and height to 700 and a little padding, and that should do it. Now that we have a container centered, we can go back to the HTML and looking at the finished version, as I said earlier, we are going to have two columns. So this big column on the left and smaller one on the right. So let's create a div with the class name call left. And I'm going to copy and paste this and change this one to column right. And now we are going to properly set the size of these columns. So let's go into CSS. Now let's take a look at the finished version. So the column on the left is going to be bigger on the one on the right. So let's set this container to display flex to put the containers side by side. And let's select the column on the left. Now, because we have a flex container, I don't have to define a fixed width. Like I don't have to set this column's width to 500 and set the other ones to something else. I can just place them using flex1 and we cannot see them because we need a border now as you can see each of the columns are taking one fraction of space inside this container now the only thing left is to make this one on the left take more space than the one on the right and we can easily do it by increasing this one to two. And let's compare it to the finished version. And we have the correct size. And let's put some space between them using gap. And also add some border radius to each of them. Now going back to the HTML, let's open up the finished version once more. And let's start with the one on the left. As I said earlier, we will have three rows and then we will pick the third row and place two more boxes inside of it. So inside the column left, I will create a div with the class name of row. And this is going to be row one and row two and row three. Let's go back to the CSS. Now to place these rows, stacked on top of each other. Remember what we did with the container? We set it to display flex and gave its child 
flex 2, flex 1 to place them. And this is pretty much going to be the same thing. But this time the container is column left because we have the rows inside this column left. We will give it display flex. But this time child elements are not going to be side by side. We are going to change the flex direction to column to make the rows stack on top of each other. And let's select the row. And we will set every row to flex one. And let's add border radius to see it. And now, as you can see, we have three equally sized rows. Let's add the same amount of border radius as well. And put some gap between them. And let's compare it to the finished version. Now that we have three rows, we can get rid of this border on the column left. And we can also get rid of this white background color as well. And let's go back into the HTML and let's take a look at the finished version again. The next thing we are going to do is to put two boxes inside the third row. Inside row three, I will create two divs. The first one is going to be row column left. And the second one is going to be right. And just like we did with the other containers, like the container and the column left, now this row three is became a container for this child element. Let's go into CSS and we will select the row three. And just like we did with the others, we will set it to display flex. And now we are going to give its child elements flex one and a border to see it. And inside the third row, now we have two equally sized boxes. Let's copy and paste the same amount of border radius. And we can get rid of this border on the row three. And let's put some space between them. And there you go. The only thing left is to create two equally spaced boxes inside the right column. Let's go into HTML. And this time we don't have to create a new class. We will use the row. So let's create a div with the class name of row. And this one is going to be row top. And the second one is going to be row bottom. Let's go into CSS. We will go into the parent element, which in this case, column right. We will set it to display flex and change the flex direction to column because we want the boxes to be stacked on top of each other. And now that we have the boxes, let's get rid of this border. Let's copy and paste the gap. And that is it. We created the exact same layout. If you don't like this layout, you can play around with this. For example, I can change this to one. And these two columns are going to be equally sized. And I can increase the one on the right and it is going to be the exact opposite. And finally, I will delete this borders and copy and paste this nice colors. If you want to use the same colors, just pause the video and type down the same. And this is how you create a Bento grid layout using Flexbox. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and I will see you next time.